G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, it's a bit of an opinion video for this one. Now, my interstate viewers are going to say that this is a complete storm in a teacup, but I want to put my opinion to a debate that's been simmering, boiling, simmering, boiling, raging, boiling, simmering, boiling away in my beautiful home city of Melbourne since December last year. Um, now, look, I know I live in Geelong, but I'm still a Melbourneian at heart. One day I will end up back home. And as far as I'm concerned, being a Melbourneian, I have an opinion about this as well. What am I talking about? Apple's proposed flagship store at Melbourne's Federation Square. And to be honest... I don't like the idea, and I'll explain why throughout this video. Okay, so my interstate viewers and overseas viewers, Federation Square. Back in the, I think it was the late 90s for memory, an idea was proposed to cover the rail yards in Melbourne along uh, a major street, Flinders Street in Melbourne. They were hideous to look at. And the idea was to open up a cultural, uh, public-friendly, family-friendly space on the corner of Flinders and Swanson Street, or St Kilda Road, whatever you want to call it, in Melbourne. For many decades, there used to be one meeting point in Melbourne. And when you wanted to meet up with your friends and you were coming in by train, the default was, hey, listen, I'll meet you under the clocks at Flinders Street Station. Now, for my international viewers, that's Flinders Street Train Station. And everyone knew where you were going to meet. Not a problem. At the beginning of, well, through 1999 and 2000 and that, while Fed Square was being constructed, there was a massive deba debate about its design. It was a shock to mo most Melburnians. It was radical, very, very radical. It opened in October 2002. I don't remember what date, but it was October 2002. And there were a lot of opinions about the way Fed Square looked. Over the last 16 years, Fed Square has become an extremely popular area for Melburnians to visit. Nowadays, there are two ways to meet your friends in the city. You can do the traditional, which is, I'll meet you under the clocks at Flinders Street Station, or, hey, listen, I'll meet you at Fed Square. And Melbourne people, Melbournians call it Fed Square. We don't tend to call it Federation Square. It's, look, I'll meet you at Fed Square. In December last year, Apple approached the state government and said, hey, listen, we want to build a flagship store at Fed Square. Now, our state government went, beauty, let's do it. All hell has since broken loose. Now, my interstate viewers are going to say this is a storm in a teacup and Melbourne should just shove it, suck it and see and just deal with it. Well, yes, you can say that, but it doesn't affect my interstate viewers. This affects Melburnians and in some cases, Victorians. I have no problem with Apple opening at Fed Square. My problem is I don't want Apple to be the focus of Fed Square. Now, if you've seen the designs and uh, it's been across the news and that of what Apple wants to do at Fed Square, it does not fit in with Fed Square. They want to knock down the Yarra building and build this huge just glass building. Now, from a marketing point of view, it could be said that Apple wants the focus of Fed Square to be on Apple. So instead of you going in and meeting at a cafe or meeting at a one of the bars or restaurants or whatever, 
you meet it at the Apple store. No, 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 no. Look, one way Apple could have got away with this whole problem, and I think you would have found that most people would have gone, oh, well, if that's what they want to do, I don't have a problem. Instead of knocking down the Yarra building, refer the Yarra building to move into it. It would have been a fantastic idea. Now, for those of you who join our regular night, nightly live stream conversations, MV5 works at Fed Square. The problem I have with Apple moving to Fed Square is not Apple being at Fed Square, it's the design. It will put too much focus on Apple rather than Fed Square. Now, to give you an idea, with Fed Square, not only is it a major meeting point, there's a whole pile of other activities there. The Australian Centre for Moving Image, the National Gallery of Victoria is there, there's exhibitions there, restaurants, bars, clubs, cafes, right? We've got the AFL Grand Final coming up in a fortnight. For those that can't get into the MCG for the Grand Final, Fed Square, it'll be on the big screen TV. You have thousands of people there. You don't want thousands of people, you know, watching the footy and they go, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to duck into Apple and buy a new phone. No. Look, I don't have a problem with Apple. I don't want Apple people ripping me a new one over this. I don't have a problem with Apple moving to Fed Square. Currently, the only Apple store in Melbourne is Chadston Shopping Centre, which is a sprawling shopping centre in Melbourne's southeastern suburbs. Huge. I don't have a problem with Apple going to Fed Square. I have a problem with the design. Now, Fed Square's currently got Victorian Heritage listing temporarily on it until Apple can come up with an idea. But, look, we know Apple gets what Apple wants. Okay? One way or another, Apple gets what Apple wants. They don't like losing. They don't like to look like they've lost. And you've got to remember, massive American company up against a bunch of Melburnians. Who's going to win? It's a David and Goliath battle and you can pretty much guarantee that we'll have to fold, one way or another. What Apple could have done and should have probably done is gone, all right, well, look, why don't we just take over the Yarra building, refurbish it a little bit, maybe add a bit to it, and leave us in the existing style that Fed Square's got. I think if you'd done that, Melbourne might have, Melbournians may have sat there going, oh, well, that's all right, don't have a problem. Now, what's old mate's opinion in the dead set Fed income department? I don't want to see Fed Square ruined. I love Fed Square. A lot of people do. And you don't, I mean, I, I don't want to get into the whole political side of it with our esteemed leaders there in Spring Street or the Friends of Fed Square lobby group. Apple needs to come up with a design that suits Fed Square. And the problem is the businesses in Fed Square are going to have to get kicked out. The, Apple should not be the focus of Fed Square because what you don't want to do is have a building that everyone goes, oh, well, you know, the National Gallery of Victoria, oh, I'm not interested in that. The Australian Centre for the Moving, oh, I'm not interested. Oh, I want to go to the Apple store and buy a new Apple. No. Look. I know I'm showing my Melbourneian colours here, but frankly, Apple is dumb with this idea. They should have just taken the Yarra building over and modded it for themselves. Because if you look at the current design, the focus of Fed Square would be Apple. Now, from Apple's point of view, as I said, great marketing ploy. You know, we control Fed Square. You don't want that. You want, if, if Apple want to go to Fed Square, they've got to be part of Fed Square. They've got to meld into Fed Square, not take over Fed Square. So, I mean, look, it, it's ugly. Um, it'll go there one way or another. But yeah, not, not in its current design. If Apple want to go to Fed Square, find a design that suits the current style of Fed Square and work with that. But the last thing I want to see happen to Fed Square is the focus of Federation Square be Apple. Now, I've been to Acme a couple of times now. Actually, I've seen multiple um, exhibitions at Acme. I love Acme, the Australian Centre for Moving Image. 
I've been to the NGV once. National Gallery of Victoria, Fed Square. Great place. I've had food at a couple of the cafes at Fed Square. Fantastic. I've had two New Year's Eve celebrations at Fed Square. Absolutely off the charts. Apple going in there with this massive design. People are going to be, oh, I don't want to go to the NGV. I want to have a look at the new iPhone. Oh, I don't feel like going to Acme. I want to have a look at a new iPad. No. Apple, if you want to go to Fed Square, <coughs> be part of it. Don't be it. Because that's what I think they want. Um, Fed Square is special to a lot of Melburnians. Very special. You know, when I'm coming home from Melbourne, I tend to drive down Flinders Street just to see what's on there. You know, um, have a sticky beak. You know, so I don't have a problem with Apple going to Fed Square. I have a problem problem with the way Apple's going to look, and that is Apple will be Fed Square rather than being part of Fed Square. Now, I know my interstate viewers are saying, oh, this is just a storm in a teacup and Melbourne should just bend over and take it and shove it. And they are entitled to their opinion. But in its current design, it won't get built unless Apple come back with an idea to make it look more part of Fed Square than make it look like a dog's hind leg stuck out left field. Um... So, I mean, we're, we're probably going to end up with Google here as well in Melbourne. But, you know, Apple, I, I, I know people who work for Apple don't watch this channel. But Apple, become part of Fed Square, don't be Fed Square. And you may end up with poor people being slightly more warming to you moving into Fed Square. Might be a good idea. But that's all right. I know Apple people and that don't watch this channel. So Apple users might and probably are screaming again for Melbourne is just to bend over and take it. And Apple gets what Apple wants. And that's true. They do get what they want. But my thing is, is that if Apple wants to go to Fed Square, become part of Fed Square. Don't take it over and be it. There we go. Bit of an opinion piece there. And I know I'm showing my colours as a proud Melbourneian, but look, Fed Square is significant to Melbourne. And I don't want to see it get destroyed in the way it is. Anyway, stick around. A little bit more coming up at the Backyard Tech Channel throughout today. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.